Here I brought just a few metrides to illustrate some of the most uh, characteristic and important features in chondrites um, and when they are found in the field. So the first one here in the middle is from the Atacama Desert and quite a nice hand specimen. So on the outside you can see this metrite is very dark and this is quite typical because when the metrite falls through the Earth's atmosphere, the outside starts heating by friction and starts melting and then solidifies again. So this is basically a solidified melt and we know from volcanic rocks that they are often rather black in appearance. And this is the case here as well. It is although a little more brownish. The brownish is due to weathering of iron um, minerals that occur frequently in these kind of meteorites. So this is a chondrite. This is a um, ordinary chondrite. So here's a cut section and if I tilt this a little bit you can see these reflections here and all these reflections are metal grains. So this is the metal inside and this is why it's also on this cut surface quite brownish. So this is already quite uh, um, rather heavily weathered piece of meteorite. Also on the surface of the first surface usually very smooth. This is also quite typical for meteorites when found um, in the field and also there are these very tiny cracks here on this um, fusion crust. And this is when the melt solidifies and the volume reduces then starts cracking and this is then sometimes filled with some additional maybe material from alteration. Now here I have uh, another ordinary chondrite, a cut section of an ordinary chondrite and in here, when look, again I can try and tilt this a little bit and can see reflections, but here again these small tiny roundish objects that, you, that are visible here, sometimes um, these roundish objects or this one here, these are the chondrules. So these are the actual chondrules, so maybe here's one as well, so you need to look very closely. There are some, so these are the individual chondrules. This is an ordinary chondrite, there's just very little matrix in between, so this cannot be really seen here. It's also hard to see in hand specimen. This needs to be seen under a microscope. And then finally, this is one aesthetically often rather pleasing type of meteorite. So this is a, a palisite and there is um, the metal, so all this is metal. And then there is the silicate, the green bits, which is usually olivine. So this is um, from the core mantle boundary of an asteroid where some mantle material, some metal material mixed together in which is then um, producing these kind of, of palisites here. So this is just very brief how meteorites look in the field and when they are cut in a section here.